Hi guys, this is Shauna Noel, and we are back for another entry of Through Christ. I am working through this devotional in rainbow order, so I'm just showing my little guide there to make sure I kind of get through the rainbow in all 14 days. And today is all about delight, and I just love this one. It brings together like images before you can even jump in, which makes it super easy. It's also pink um, is the color I'm working on, so that also... I think of a lot of things like um, fruit and, and kind of food related things that I delayed in and kind of wanted to relate those to what I was focusing on for today. Um, this is the clear cut pad. I just tore out one of the pages and I love these little arrows. I think they're so fun. And what I really love to do with them is to highlight a verse with them. So kind of like um, just pick one verse and cover it up. But you can still see through it because it's see-through obviously and then i just use a little adhesive on the back and then attach it so that makes it really um easy to use and fun and really highlights that verse which i love i love being really creative with how i highlight verses when i can be sometimes i just you know i'm using a um a watercolor brush or a marker or things like that but I really love kind of stepping outside the box. So I'm using the Illustrated Faith Adhesive Roller, which you can pick up now on Dayspring in the links below. And um, it's just fun, any, any adhesive that you have would work. I just, we wanted to offer something since so many of you are new to scrapbooking and kind of this kind of form of art. So we wanted to make sure to give you all the supplies we thought you may need. So I'm just using that to highlight the verse there, as you can see, and it's just a really simple start to my entry. And I love it. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's so fun. Um, I really love those clear cuts. And again, those clear cuts come in a six by eight clear cut pad, which you can pick up in the links below as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the little strawberry from the clear cuts. Bella Boulevard designs like the cutest stuff. And this little fruit is one of the things that Stephanie um, had shown me that I just love so stinking much. And there's so many ways that we can use fruit in when we're Bible drilling, like fruit of the spirit or delight. Like I think of delight and I think of strawberries sometimes too. Of course, we're talking about a much deeper meaning of delight, but it's okay to kind of have fun ways to play off those as well. So one of the things I'm really loving about this is, as we talked about in the beginning, is I am doing it in rainbow order. So each entry I'm kind of focusing on one color. But of course, as you can see out here, I have added orange. So I'm kind of playing, allowing myself to play with other colors. It's just the focus and then um, that way it keeps, it allows me to really focus on what I'm learning and, and what I'm diving into instead of worrying about designing a new page every day for 14 days. Not that I need to worry about it, but um, I wanted to just really take a simple approach to this. So the other thing that I'm doing to kind of tie all these together is just to put a strip of washi tape in the gutter of the Bible here um, because I love that whenever I see that washi tape in that place, in that long strip like that, I will know it's one of the entries that I did from this devotional because one of the things I think that I could easily do with this devotional is go back through it again, maybe in six months, three months, two months down the road, because um, they're very approachable devotionals and Meg offers so many different verses, which I really like that too. Um, so I like that I could go back to it again and do some more verses and still tie it together in that same way. Also, these stamps are some of my favorites. I love the prompts like so very much. I think that they are just so fun and so usable and kind of make you think outside the box. But I'm going to go ahead and start with some alphabet stickers. I have some doodlebug stickers and I also have the Illustrated Faith Homespun stickers. But again, just use kind of what you have on hand. I love just having a big assortment of alphabet stickers to build my words and then I can just kind of play around with kind of the typography of it all and that sort of thing and um, just really have fun and delight in Bible journaling and not have to worry or stress out and it's just fun. And then again, I like to mix. So this one is a pink entry, but I like to mix in some orange there because it will be one of the coming up colors in the rainbow as well. Um, so it's kind of fun to play off that as well. So I just wanted to write, I will delight in the Lord. Um, Cause I think that's so important. I think sometimes that we do get um, kind of serious and caught up in everything um, pertaining our faith, which I believe it is absolutely something to be serious about, but it's also something to delight in and find joy in and happiness in and um, a place where we can really just 
honestly have fun. Like, I know that's something that people struggle with is having fun while they're reading their Bible. And I'm here to tell you that's okay. I really honestly believe that it is. I know that it's something that I've struggled with and had fun with and um, balled back on and questioned, but now I'm just in this place of delight and I love that. So just really quickly penciled out on um, the word delight and I'm kind of sneaking up in the corner <laughs> kind of creepily. Um, and then I go ahead and go over it with my pencil a couple times just to kind of give it a very whimsical drawn out look. But I like mixing um, a sticker that's kind of more of a modern font like the ones I'm using along with a cursive handwriting. I think those are a fun combination. Also, when you add your own handwriting, you can kind of play with the size and shape that you want it to be. So I wanted the word delight to kind of curve around like it did and kind of touch up into that strawberry as well. And whenever I'm kind of playing with space, I do what you just saw me do there, which is start on the edge of the paper with the last letter that I need to work in and work my way in. And that way I can kind of know how much space I need and play around with it from there. Alright, so from here I'm just going to go ahead and see what it is I want to play with, but I wanted to read a little something from Meg's devotional as well. Um, I'm going to just read the last little bit. She says, we find our peace, fulfillment, and true joy in him, and our hearts become full. We are filled with his glory and goodness. God says that when we delight in him, seek his ways, and find our pleasure in him, then our hearts are aligned with his, and then he is the desire of our heart, which is something that I love so much and something that I really have found to be true um, through this journey of Bible journaling. I have found that I can really delight in this time with him, and he has created me to be a visual learner, and that's something I should delight in and not fight. And um, he's creative, and he has created me to be creative, and so why not use that in that time with him while I'm learning about him and, and praying to him and writing these love letters to him? Why not use the way that he created me to um, do all that? So I just love this one. I love the word delight, and I love the idea of delighting in our Lord as we worship him and as we um, Bible journal and do devotionals and pray and share with each other and what that looks like. It's okay to add heart stickers and it's okay to, you know, add stamps and things like that. Like that doesn't take away from what we're learning in the word in this time with him. If anything, it causes me to want to go back to it more and more because I'm getting so much out of it way more than I ever have before and that is something that I will treasure forever I just used to really struggle and now I delight and I'm thankful for that journey so I'm gonna play around with the little stamp here um, again I just love these stamps so I wanted to make sure to include them and this little heart speech bubble is one I really love because it just kind of signifies that you know it's almost like just saying I love you and I love that it's so fun So I wanted to make sure to add some black here at the bottom just because I added that black speech bubble I wanted to pull that black to the bottom to kind of ground it a little bit and then I wanted to also use the delight um, <laughs> little tab here as you can see I'm really trying to make it work and to be honest sometimes it doesn't work because of the coloring or whatever it is and then I found this cute little strawberry um, tab that works perfectly and so I wanted to make sure to include that because it matched the little um, strawberry they had so what I went ahead and did is just kind of customize this for my entry now of course if you wanted to use the tag as is like go for it totally but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out and then put it on that little strawberry tab just to make it kind of work really well for what I'm doing I love those tabs you guys if you haven't picked those up the little tab tabbies that come in the little thing it just saves me so much time like I love to have a tab on every entry I do and so it saves me time from having to cut them out because they're all ready to go some of them are blank some of them have words and again all those can be found in the links below but they're just so much fun I hope you guys are having fun with this devotional series I know I am and it's really fun to see what you guys are doing if you guys are in our Facebook group we are doing a little challenge with this so I wanted to encourage you guys to go check that out and come play along um, because it's so fun but I hope you guys have a wonderful day make sure to subscribe in the links below and I'll talk to you soon bye